Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa is going to make a heavy hiam today. Yeah? Heavy meaning dried prawn. Uh, hiam actually is spicy. So it's, it's actually is a uh, chili paste. It's a chili sambal made with uh, heavy. So I, and I have some very special unique heavy today. Uh, as you can see from here, this dried heavy is actually straight. It doesn't curl up like the normal ones. See? It is actually straight. It is called, I don't know, the zi xia or something like that. Yeah? Straight prawn. Uh, straight dried shrimp. <laughs> My friend got it from uh, La Buan for me. Apparently, it's a very special thing there. And it is super fragrant. It's a lot more fragrant than the normal dried shrimp I've ever used. Yeah? So, um, something different. Of course, if you can't find this, you can use any dried shrimp that you have. Then I have approximately eight um, pieces of big chili here. I always prefer to use the bigger chili so that um, bigger fresh chili. Because bigger fresh chili is easier to control the spiciness. If you use dried chili, can also. Uh, but dried chili, don't know somehow, I tried many different types in Malaysia. It's a little bit too spicy for my family. For me, I'm all right. But for my family, I can't. We are home cook, we cook for our family. So you need to think of them. Yeah. So, or you can mix half big red fresh chili and also dried chili up to you. Um, and then I have a few cloves of garlic and uh, shallot. And here I'll be adding some toasted um, blachan powder. Yeah, you can get it from any supermarket very easily. I'll be adding in some of my cooking apple chicken stock powder as well. For those interested, you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Shopee Singapore. So first of all, you want to prepare a blender or chopper. And we're going to blend all this chili, garlic and also shallot. You can blend the uh, dried shrimp separately or sometimes when you are lazy, just like Appa today, I will blend everything together. But we will blend the chili first. You can add a little bit of water if you like. Let me try without water first and see how it goes. Alright, less than 10 seconds. Still very coarse, no problem. I'm going to add in, oh, you can actually very quickly rinse the heavy. No need to soak if you ask me. You can if you want to, but it's not too salty. I've tried it myself before. I just ate it raw like that and it's super, super fragrant. I'm using a whole big bowl, a yeah, small bowl of uh, dry, heavy today so that we can get even nicer heavy smell, aroma. Okay, just a little bit of water inside, put it in your mind. I will put in the blachan uh, powder later, no problem. Let me see the consistency. I don't need it to be too fine. Uh, but this is probably a little bit too coarse. I will add a little bit more water. This is to ease the blending process. One last, right, one last round, should be fine. Still less than 10 seconds. All right. This kind of consistency is good enough. No need to be too fine. I don't want it to be too coarse as well. 
once the oil is heated up you can put in the chopped sambal just now as you can see it's still quite um, flaky yeah? don't make it too fine so you probably want to uh, slowly saute this using uh, medium high for approximately 5 to 10 minutes some people like to make the heavy hiam the dry type I prefer the the one with some oil wow just now even before I started cooking my wife was asking me what's the smell coming up uh, from um, the kitchen it's actually from the dry heavy that I'm using today it is really very seafoody flavor let's saute it for a minute or two before we continue this is after about two minutes sorting I'm going to put in some seasoning right now first of all one teaspoon of toasted blachan powder oh better lower down the heat right now so that it doesn't get burnt at the bottom one teaspoon of my cooking apa chicken stock powder made from 100% natural ingredient yeah got real chicken inside <laughs> seriously real chicken very expensive okay uh, then I'll give you a little bit of premium fish sauce a little bit of light soy sauce some salt heavy the heavy you use could be quite salty so go lighter on the salt you can still adjust to taste towards the end yeah and you do need a bit more uh, sugar here I'm going to start with three tablespoons this I'm using teaspoon here so it's like six teaspoon for the start you do want this dish to be a little bit more a little bit more um, sweeter now we can raise the heat to medium high and you shall slowly see the color turning darker and darker continue stirring this and um, chili sambal can get burned quite easily so you may want to use a non-stick for this and you need to keep on stirring non-stop we come back shortly look at the beautiful color right this is after approximately six to seven minutes definitely good enough you can actually see, start to see the oil started to break and the color beautiful caramelized color and it is done now you can actually adjust to taste before uh, serving yeah using uh, salt and also sugar done that's how simple it is to make appa's heavy ham right so here's appa very simple uh heavy ham today i hope oh by the way if you can't finish it keep it in the fridge for a couple of days no problem yeah no need to keep in the freezer uh if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.